PVC, or polyvinyl chloride, is marked with the number 3 on the resin indication code and is a widely used material across a range of industries. However, it's less commonly used in packaging. One reason for this is because even though the plastic is marked with one of those triangle arrow thingies surrounding the number, the material is not usually considered to be recyclable at most U.S. recycling centers. Now, you may recognize PVC from the hardware store. The material is strong, durable, flame-resistant, and provides great insulation to electricity. These features have made PVC a go-to material in electrical, plumbing, automotive, window sprinkler systems, and building supplies. In addition to being a great building material, PVC can also be found across the packaging industry. It is used for its moderate rigidity and impact resistance, as well as its clear appearance. Common uses for PVC include dry food packaging, such as jerky canisters and large snack food containers. Rigid PVC also provides a great oxygen and moisture barrier and is used for products with alcohols, alkalines, oils, and some acids and solvents, making it great for lab and medical facilities and certain industrial chemical packaging. Also, shrink sleeves, shrink bands, and shrink labels are commonly made out of PVC. Despite these use cases, and as mentioned earlier, PVC is becoming less popular in packaging. This is due in part to the fact that PVC contains the additive BPA. That said, if a PVC product is BPA-free, it's usually labeled as such, with a BPA-free stamp on the bottom of the container near that recycle mark. Still, for most products, it is better to use other plastics, such as PET or HDPE, which are inherently BPA-free and offer a more diverse range of uses. Also, they're usually a little bit cheaper. PVC's natural color is clear, but it can be produced in many colors with either an opaque or translucent finish. But most stock PVC products are just going to be clear. Some downsides to PVC include its poor resistance to cold, as it becomes inflexible and brittle at temperatures around and below freezing. And with a maximum distortion temperature of around 140 degrees Fahrenheit, it doesn't have the best resistance to high temperatures either. Other packaging materials are recommended for products that will need to be used or stored in these temperature conditions. If your product is a beverage or a wet food item, or if it will be in constant direct sunlight. For these situations, HDPE or PET plastic might be a better choice. And of course, you should always test any packaging solution before you use it to ensure it's compatible with your product and meets your individual needs. If you have questions about PVC or its recommended alternatives, or if you'd like to see a sample, please contact us and we'd love to help.